How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Airport CEO and welcome back to Belfast City Airport. And I suppose, more importantly, welcome to the International Terminal. Because if I zoom out, as you can see, this thing is done. It is ready to go. And the eagle eyed amongst you might have noticed that I am nearly broke. I am. I'm nearly broke. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be really, really honest with you. I cheated to build this. Now, I didn't give myself a bunch of money, but I did use sandbox mode, which doesn't consume money. And the reason I did that, I was thinking about it. Basically, I am no richer nor poorer than I would have been had I waited around. Because building this would have taken several million dollars. So what I could have done is sit around for 12 to 24 hours and wait for everything to build while spending several million dollars. Or I can sit here, broke as a joke, turn on sandbox mode, build the whole thing, and save myself 12 to 24 hours and still be broke at the end of it. So that's what I did. And that's why I cheated. Hopefully that's okay. I know there's, I've, I've done stuff like that before and it's gone badly, but I just, I just, I'm not sitting around. I've got other games that want to play. I've been really enjoying a game called The Survivalists recently, which is by the people that made The Escapists and I've never heard of it and it's amazing. I might do some stuff on YouTube on it. I don't know. I'm enjoying it in my off time. Anyway, enough about that. More about the airport. I'm going to pause for a second so that we don't continue to spend money because I've done some things and I've done some things that I'm quite pleased about. Mostly in terms of organization. Every single one of these stands has two stair trucks, a pushback truck. It has a belt loader and a large baggage handler. And then if we go down to the other part of the airport, I've got a sort of medium tier baggage handler here somewhere. I've got a stair truck. I've got a pushback truck. It's a smaller one. And then every single one of my small stands also has a baggage truck. I've gone around and just optimized things a little bit, so I'm excited to get this place going. I've also changed up security because I did some testing and, you know, just having six of the large security checkpoints was not going to be enough for this. I don't suspect that these smaller ones are going to be enough either, but I'm willing to give it a shot. Now, beyond that, I've also gone to accepted contracts. I've gone to contracts in general and I've accepted every contract with every airline. So we are about good to go. If we have a look at the flight planner, we have not got large stands in here right now because they're switched off. But what I can do, everything's connected, is I can go around. I can open every single one of these. I've renamed them so it's large stands one through eight so that I can easily see where vehicles are getting assigned. And in doing this, if we then open the flight planner, we have our eight stands. We have our baggage bays connected to their baggage collection areas. Everything is good to go. We also have subways because this is going to be a super busy airport. So let's go ahead and ramp things up to three times normal speed. If we have a look at the flight planner, I've also reduced the amount of uh, flight separation to 15 minutes. So things are going to be in here pretty well. I also got another one of these. Do we already have a large air traffic control tower? I feel like we might. I feel like we might not. We have that. We can, oh, yeah, there we go. We can have, go up to 250 flights now because I also built this thing down here because, of course, I did. This is exciting, though. We should see any second now people starting to come out of these subways, people starting to arrive at the International Terminal, come through here and generally do their thing. And I'm really excited about it because I'm so close to being broke. I'm really, really so close to being broke. It's kind of a problem. I don't really want to have to take a loan to fix that. I'm pretty sure that once people do start coming in here, I won't have to take a loan to fix that. But there's a non-zero chance that I might because we barely have any money. Also, the flight planner is taking its sweet time. So I'm going to turn off the auto planner for a second and I'm just going to look and see because I have got some, some of these guys offering me some large flights. So I'm just going to drag this in here and the earliest I can put this in here is 315. So we'll do 315 for that one. We'll do 3.30 for that one. And we can just sort of go back and stack these guys a little bit. These guys have a couple of large flights as well. So we'll do 3.45 for this guy. And now we have all of these planes going to be on the ground at the same time, which is pretty exciting. That's going to carry over into tomorrow as well, which is also kind of stacked, which is pretty neat. So 
not bad there. I'll just go ahead and turn the auto planner back on and let it do its thing because now that we have all of these guys, we should start to see passengers arriving within probably within an hour or two. We should start to see people getting here because they have to get here nice and early for these international flights, as you generally do. And from what I reckon and from what I know about this game, most of them are probably going to self check in and self bag drop. So all of this honestly is probably for nothing. We're going to have some passenger service agents just sat at these desks doing nothing. And there we go. We have people coming through already. A lot of them are just having a seat, which is fair enough. It's nice to get to an airport early enough that you can put your feet up and well, you know what? Don't put your feet up in an airport. It's very rude. Regardless, I was right. They are in fact going to self bag drop and self check in. They're hitting security and this is what I'm worried about is how they're gonna get through here because this could back up with the number of planes and the number of people that we have due to go through here. But so far so good. Passport control seems to be handling them pretty well as well and then looking around we are due to have the first one land at 145 so a couple of hours still until the first large flight gets here we are broke we are at minus minus eighteen thousand dollars but i'm fairly sure we can make that work i'm gonna say we can make that work i'm also gonna go ahead and add another door to security because i think this might be a good idea so we want to go four units from here, I think. No, I don't know. We want to do want to go three from the wall. So right about there. And we'll do the same on this side as well. I don't know if we need to do this, but it might stop the passengers from sort of funneling around this corner in a really awkward way. Ah, now this is what I was concerned about. We do have people backing up, but they are still flowing in. So we'll see. I guess we'll see what happens. Again, no one really backing up like crazy in passport control, so that's good. I've also done nothing but add bathrooms to the departures area, so we are kind of in a position where people can not shop in here, they can not eat in here. That's all stuff that we can do eventually. What I'm most concerned about is just getting these planes on the ground, which we should be seeing here in just a couple of seconds. We should be seeing that first large international flight touching down. But that's what I'm most concerned about because that's where the money is going to come from it's also overdue right now we should there it is beautiful look at that look at that not bad at all we are at minus a hundred thousand dollars which is really really worrying but we'll uh we'll figure it out these large planes i'm pretty sure i get ten thousand for every single one of them that i push back and also every single passenger is like 17 dollars and these guys carry a lot of passengers so We'll, we'll maybe eventually be okay. I'm really not too sure. Another interesting detail, by the way, is that, uh, so this is one of the sort of medium trucks for refueling, I think. This is one of the large ones. A large plane can be refueled by a single large truck. Unfortunately, it takes two trucks to refuel it if it's anything smaller, so that's... I did buy a bunch of those guys. Sometimes the planes will be handled by a smaller truck. It's whatever. It's not the end of the world. Uh, but what I'm most curious about here is these guys complaining. So they can't board. I think they're just getting stuck because there's so many people. I'm not really too concerned about it. We should see everybody getting on board though. So once you're on, the stair trucks are probably going to pull away, which they are. Baggage is about to be loaded, I think. It absolutely is. So this guy's coming over. We'll have the baggage get loaded onto the belt. And so that's going to go in there. This guy's going to pull over, load two more, and then pull over again and load the last one. And then at that point, I'm pretty sure we're good to push back, right? Well, the ramp truck has to go away as well. But I think at this point, we are now good to push back out of here. If we have a look at this. Uh, 0% on the service round. I don't know what that means. I really don't. I really have no idea what 0% service round means, but regardless, in better news, we have pushed the money back up a little bit. So that's, that's good. We've got a whole bunch of planes on the ground. We got a whole bunch of passengers being handled. We do have a GA flight, small weight class. We'll go ahead and accept that. I don't know where I'm going to put it. That's a bit of a concern. I can't put it on like a large, can't put it on a large stand. Uh, can I put it over here? No. 
All right, what stand is that? Small aircraft stand five. Can I, is it, it's a remote stand? Okay, so I can't put it there either. Um, hmm. What about in here? No, what is that? Small aircraft stand 10. Can I locate this aircraft? So I want to locate you and I want to get you out of here. So dismiss that aircraft, please. That is stand 10. So once that plane's gone, the stand is free. The emergency has been resolved. I didn't handle it. I failed. Okay, well, you know what? That's, <laughs> that's, that's fine. That's all right. So I failed a bird strike emergency. I mean, what's the worst that's going to happen there? Don't answer that. That's a rhetorical question. We all know what the worst is that's going to happen there. We'll just imagine that it wasn't as much of an emergency as they thought it was and everything is okay. Okay? So while we're waiting for the money to take over a little bit, let's take a look underground because this is what I ended up doing for baggage handling. Obviously, we have two baggage bays, which I figured was probably worth doing two separate security setups for. And so essentially the security setup on the left handles the left side of the airport. The one on the right handles the right side of the airport. It's essentially the same setup as we've done before. Anything that's okay goes straight through. Anything that gets flagged goes for further scanning. Anything that gets flagged a second time goes for a manual scan. And anything that is dangerous gets destroyed. Anything that's good continues on and gets put on the plane. So we do sort of, we, we still have the same three-step system. Uh, we have a lot of bags coming through here, which honestly, I love, I love, love, love how busy this is. It looks so good. It's so cool. It's just, I just love it. I really, really do. I really, really adore just how busy this whole thing is. Uh, now, this little alert here, by the way, this is because Terminal 2 is not fully connected to other terminals. Ensure that there's a pathway between them. What that means is essentially... No one can walk from one terminal to another. And that's apparently a problem. I don't really see that as a problem because I... Well, I, I can see how that could be a problem. Realistically speaking, let's say you get an international flight, such as myself recently. You get an international flight from Dublin to Newark, and then you want to go from Newark to Atlanta. You're going, you know, international to domestic, and we don't necessarily offer that here because this is an entire international terminal. So I can see how that would be a bit of a pickle. I can definitely, <laughs> I can definitely see how that'd be a bit of a pickle, not having that connection. But honestly, the only thing I could do is a tunnel. We could just do a big old tunnel where people can walk through from one terminal to another, which I mean, it's an option. It is, it is certainly an option. I don't know if I'm going to do it, but it is, it is something I can do. I'll hold off for now, but I'm definitely tempted to do it. What I'm also tempted to do, because we're a little bit overdue on this, is I want to get some shops in here. So let's do, let me turn off these ugly overlays. Let's do a 17 by, yeah, let's do 17 by, I want to say 17 by 10, maybe 17 by 12. Yeah, let's do 17 by 11, actually that'll work nicely with the uh, the walls that I want to do on this and we'll do the same here so 17 by 11 and then whatever this is in the middle is uh, good old 14 by 11 I want to get some walls around this I'm gonna do two little sections of wall there 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 and right here I'm gonna do some corner piece I'm gonna pause while I do this as well because I think the game lags last when I uh, when I pause so yeah it's it's <laughs> it's really struggling man it's uh, a lot of people that it's trying to deal with right now but we'll go ahead and get these in here. We'll do this. We'll do this. And then what I want to do is I want to get some hedges just in these side sections here because I think it's going to look nice. It keeps things nice and open, nice and green and all that good stuff. And I think I'm going to do two little stretches of hedge just at the front here just to make it a little bit more interesting, a little bit different. And that should be all right. So that's going to be some shops right in the middle there. I can do some seating out front because why not? And what I'm also thinking is... Maybe like a little cafe in here and some toilets down here. So let's go to restaurants. Let's go to food room. And let's say, doesn't need to be anything crazy. Let's do eight by 14. I might make these match as well. I might make them symmetrical just because I can. We'll do eight by 14. We'll go to bathroom. We'll say, I don't know how big this is necessarily going to be. It's not going to be very, it's not going to have... It's not going to have anywhere for you to wash your hands, I'll tell you that right now. But, we'll see. 
So we'll do uh, we'll do something like this for the uh, for the bathroom. It's gonna be pretty miserable. It really, is gonna be a Belfast kind of bathroom. I'll tell you that. Uh, we'll do this though. We'll get ourselves just a standard little door there. And I don't know what size I made that. So that is 11 by 3. All right. So we'll head over here. We'll do exactly that same thing. So 11 by 3. We want to get some toilets. I wish I could click and drag and just anything in this game. I've said it before. I will probably say it again because this probably won't be the last time we play this. Unless a sequel gets announced and released really suddenly. But, you know, I don't see that happening. Regardless, that'll be our bathrooms. We can go ahead and open... Oh, wait. Room requirements, I'm assuming, actually needs to be enclosed and have toilets. That's fine. That's all right. We'll figure it out. Anyway, we'll get those going in a second. As for the restaurants and cafes, what was this? It was 8 by 14. We want to do exactly the same thing on this side. So, 8 by 14. And it's going to be kind of a similar setup with the corners. We'll go ahead and just do the, uh, the wall sections. We'll do uh, the two there. We'll do the two on the other side and we can put some hedges around that just to make it look nice. Get a bit of green in here, like I said. And it also stops passengers from walking through here to get to security, which is kind of the main reason I'm doing this. Oh, so it turns out bathrooms do in fact need sinks, but these guys are now up and running, which is fantastic news. This little shop right here is pretty much ready to go, I think. We can get Bell Beer in here, which I'm absolutely going to do. We can pop over to the other side very slowly and hopefully get something in here as well. It looks like we can go for Swift Veg. We also have that bathroom open at the bottom there as well. And in other news, I've also got these guys going. These guys have been built. We now got people channeling through here, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and just redo the floors in here because I'm kind of liking the idea that the shops have marble floors. There's something about that I think looks kind of cool. I'm liking this sort of greenish black kind of thing going around. It's green, sort of. This material here going around the shops looks pretty neat. So we're going to keep doing that. And in terms of what these shops are going to be, honestly, let's try a couple of things. Let's do a traveler shop at uh, three stars. I probably should have done that in the middle, actually, because I can't do a five. I can do a five. Interesting. I... Oh, wait, no, that's a one. I can do bottle as well. Let's do a five. And let me try and get a four. So we'll go for paper news. So we have a three, four, and five star on the shops. The reason I want to do that is because I'm just kind of curious. Essentially, I'm, I'm curious to see which one will succeed, if any of them. So we'll see how that goes. It could be kind of interesting. It's also kind of good that we already have so many people coming in here. I'm curious to see how many are actually going to be shopping. Actually, quite a lot of them. So that's great news. That's... Absolutely fantastic. I suppose, I mean, these are the only three shots. These are the only three things to do in this entire international terminal right now. So, man, the game's really struggling with all these people. It really, like, there's a lot, man. There's, there's a lot. We got, we got a lot of planes. We really got a lot of planes. It's, it's cool, though. Like, this is actually successful, which is wild to me. I wasn't really wasn't really expecting it. This guy here is almost done with the daily requirements as well, which is beautiful news. This guy, less so. Not getting as much love over there in uh, Swift Veg, but fair enough. Security, struggling a little bit. Passport control, doing just fine. I don't love this tailback, I'm gonna be honest with you. But as long as it doesn't back into the main lobby, I'm not super concerned. What I am concerned about is the fact that this place is filthy. We might need some janitors. Are these chairs broken? I don't think they are. We really might need some janitors, though. So go to staff, go to applicants, go to janitor. And one, two, three, four, five more. I don't think five janitors will necessarily be able to clean this entire place, but it's a start, right? It's, it's definitely a start. I'll also say that security's not actually as bad as I thought it was. I mean, yes, it tails back a little bit, and yes, this this is almost making me feel woozy looking at this, but it's working, and that's about all I need it to do is, is work. Uh, we are seeing some dangerous baggage get loaded onto some of these flights, which I, I don't love that, but it's it's probably fine. 
Uh, I'll tell you what I do want to do. I want to get more... I want to get more stuff in here. I want to get more stuff into the departures area. We could do some cafes. We definitely, definitely could do some cafes. I'm not 100% sure where to do them, though. I'm really... Hmm. Actually, maybe I am. I might do a cafe sort of like here. Although it would make more sense to put it sort of central, wouldn't it? Like, just put a cafe next to these guys and let people go to town on this big old restaurant looking thing. I think that's what I'm going to do because we don't have anywhere for them to eat in this part of the airport. So let's just get a food room. We'll do 20 by 11. That should be more than enough. And we'll go ahead and do exactly the same kind of design around the edges. So we'll give ourselves these nice little borders. We'll do the same over here. And I guess we'll do another one over on this side as well. So 20 by 11 is going to be the size that we're going for. So that right about there. We can get ourselves these walls. Just throw them into these corners. And then get ourselves the good old hedges. Throw them in the gaps. And all should be good. This will be a good little restaurant to have. It's also... I probably should have done 19 by 11. So it lines up with that wall. But whatever. A little bit late. I'm not going back and redoing it at this point. We'll just leave it as it is. It might make things look more interesting. Having them be a little bit off. You know, so the walls don't line up. It might drive me insane. It, it's going to be either or. It's it's going to be a toss up as to which one it is. I might look at this, you know, tomorrow or whenever I'm recording the next episode and be like, man, what was I thinking? There is a there's a definite chance that that is exactly what's going to happen. But we'll not stress too much about it for now. That's a problem for future me to deal with, not a problem for current me to deal with. We'll go ahead and fill this in with the same marble that we use for everywhere else. And I guess let's take a look at what kind of restaurants we can do. So these guys, these guys want cafe counters. These guys want cooking stations, stoves, modular sofas. These guys want cafe counters, cafe counters, chairs, tables. Let's try and do a mix so that I can do just about anything in here. That seems like a great idea. So, yeah, I, I think <laughs> I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Uh, so cooking stations. Can these guys go central? I don't think they can. That's unfortunate. Can I get a... I can get a stove. And wait. Can I get the cooking stations central? I don't think I can. Um, let's do a couple of stoves, I guess. So stove and stove. And then let's do some cooking stations there and there. We can do, I guess, a kitchen sink facing outwards. Maybe they should be the other way around. Eh, maybe. Maybe not. We'll, we'll leave it be for now. We'll do some kitchen sinks on either side. We'll do some food counters like this, I suppose. We'll kind of bring them around those corners as well, just to make it look a bit interesting. We'll have like a big, sort of like a big cooking area right in the middle. I think that'll be neat. We can do some fridge freezers, which I don't know if these should be facing. I don't know where these should go, honestly. Maybe they can go up, up where the... Uh, Maybe they can go up where the stoves are. I just want this to look interesting. That's kind of all I'm really wanting with this. So a couple of fridge freezers. We'll do a couple of stoves in the middle like this, I guess. That one can be sort of turned around. We'll bring the food counters across here. And I guess we'll do some more stainless steel counters. So something a bit like that. And that should be fine. Right, I think I think that'll be good. In terms of seating, some of them want modular. So we'll do some modular chairs in these corners. So that we have that demand out of the way. And my goal here essentially is I'm I'm going to copy and paste this over to the other side. Oh no, this is pretty cool. This place is actually ridiculously busy. This here being Ziti's Italian kitchen. There's a lot of people wanting to get through here. So this place, I think, is going to be relatively successful. This place over here, less so at the moment, but it has just opened, so I'd say there's still probably a good amount of time to see if this place ends up being successful. I don't know if people are willing to, like, sit around and wait for a table in one of these places, so I guess we'll see what happens there. But what I am going to do is I'm going to get some chairs out front of these places, because I think that would be a good idea. So a chair right there. We can do a chair 
right about there as well. We can do one. Well, we can't really do one there. Can I get one nice and central here? I absolutely can. So we'll do this. We'll do uh, we'll do a couple of chairs like that. And I guess we'll sort of dot these guys around as well. Leave some gaps in the middle for people to get through because that's kind of essential. And uh, this, I, I don't know if people are going to use these. I don't know if people are going to be interested in having a seat uh, by these chairs, but I'm, I'm going to do it anyway. We'll get some flight info boards as well, just because I think those would be kind of useful in there. And it just turns it into an interesting little corridor. And that's what I want this space to be. I want it to be a little bit more compact. I want it to be a little bit busier. And that's, that's, that's the goal here. So this works out really nicely. We've got some busy shops. We have some seriously, seriously busy boarding areas. Good Lord. That's got to be an A380, right? That's, that's, I'm pretty sure that's an A380 is, is what that is. So, uh, yeah, that'll be why there's so many people. That is kind of wild. No wonder we're making, no wonder we're making money, man. No wonder we are making some serious, serious money. And we're not even doing, what are we not? We're, we're not even doing catering right now. So we have got more means to make more money, which is wild. We are, we're, we're going to be in a pretty good spot is, is where we're going to be. We can make a lot more money than we're making. And keep in mind, this is only like half of the map. We can go, wait, I might've, no. Uh, one of the cheats that I used might have unlocked the other tiles. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember doing this. Regardless, I'll, you know what? <laughs> I can, look, there's a file I can go into. I can remove money. Okay. There's a file I can go into to remove money. Um, I'll go and do that. I'll take, what would it be? $1.5 million. The second I hit $1.5 million, I'll go into the INI file for this save and I'll get rid of it. All right. And that'll be my expenses for having the entire map right now. I didn't, <laughs> I don't know what cheat it was. I don't know what I enabled that gave me the entire map, but it was something and I didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Also, just breaking things down. Runway usage fees, 300,000. Parking fees, 465,000. Aviation fuel, 500,000. We are making, we made $661,000 yesterday. That is insane. <laughs> that is a ridiculous amount of money is what that is. And I am so here for it. I really, really am. I am so here for that. I'm so pleased. Also, those extra janitors that we got, they seem to be doing a pretty good job because the airport's not filthy anymore. So not bad. I'll tell you what my next goal is. I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to find a way. I'm, I'm going to extend is what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and extend this entire airport down here. We're going to get more large aircraft stands. That's my goal. And then what I'm going to try and do is run a pedestrian path the entire way around the outskirts of the airport so that this thing will go away. Because that's going to be annoying me quite a bit. But I think what I'm also going to do is leave it there for today. This seems like a, a good little setup right here. We got some shops out front. We got some shops and some restaurants here. We do need to expand things a little bit. I think you can do lounges in this. I'm not imagining that, right? Yeah, airline lounges. So I'm pretty sure there's like a whole business to that. I think I might be thinking of Sim Airport. I really don't know, but I want to get some airline lounges and I want to do them I would say upstairs and I would say we'd do jetways, but we're probably not going to do that because I got the vehicles. I got the, the stair trucks. So we'll just use we'll get as many like shops in here as we can. We'll get as many restaurants in here as we can. We'll try and get all of those contracts fulfilled. Then we'll just use the empty space for lounges. That seems like the way to go. So I think, yeah, we can leave it there for today. This seems like a pretty good this seems like a pretty good international terminal. It's also ready to expand. We have some money. I do need to take away $1.5 million, but regardless, that's fine. Either way, thank you so much for watching, everybody. It has been an absolute pleasure, as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.